we are multitasking today in the kitchen. And you know, while, since I had the oven on, and we're gonna be using the oven because we are going to do a delicious one pan meal tonight. And while that oven's on, we're also gonna do a little prepping for breakfast. And the breakfast can be tomorrow, or the breakfast could be for the holiday. So let's get to it. I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony Ivy and Time, where we work hard, we love God and family, and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. Today, we're doing things in the kitchen, and we're certainly doing it for our family. And you know, I am uh, sprinkling here a little, preparing a little sausage, and uh, I like to put a little pepper on my sausage. So I'm gonna do one side, flip them over, and I have biscuits already prepared for them, and uh, we're just uh, sprinkling, sprinkling as we go. And like I said, we'll come back to uh, to our delicious sheet pan dinner because it is just around the corner. But you know, when you have your oven on, for energy's sake, you want to be able to get as much done in that oven as you possibly can. So I'm going to take now a spatula and I'm going to give them just a little press because you know, they have a tendency to shrink as they cook. And I have to admit, I wasn't perfect with the slicing. I didn't measure. So I just kind of cut and just let it go. So we're going to give these uh, a little press. You're pressing in the, the pepper as well as just spreading them out a bit. Because I do want them. I hate getting a, a biscuit at McDonald's or whatever it might be and then your biscuit is this big and your sausage is only about that big. Ah, what fun is that? So I'm making sure that um, my sausage is going to come out a nice size. Now I'm just going to do this one pan. I had a little bit left over and I'm gonna put this in some, uh, in a Ziploc bag and save it so when I make pizza, I already have some sausage for the pizza. All right, so the pan is ready to go into the oven along with tonight's dinner. We're gonna to put together a roast that's gonna be nice and well seasoned and it's going to be roasted and grilled using my griddle cast iron pan right here. We're going to do it all in the oven and in addition to that we're going to add root vegetables. So I purchased a nice butternut squash and then he cute he's so little you know sometimes you get these and they're huge but I found a little one. And because we're supporting our local farmers, you know, I want to make sure that I got them from the farm as well as a nice acorn squash. I went in my freezer because I already had some uh, sweet potatoes that I had gotten. I sliced them and I put them in the freezer so they're ready. Uh, they'll be ready to go into the pan as well as, of course, we have to have some onion. So we've got lots of color that's gonna be a part of this dish as well as we're gonna have a delicious gravy that's gonna come from it. So that means we're gonna need some rice so that uh, we can have that rice to soak up that gravy. And oh my goodness, it's going to be so good. So you're gonna to wanna to prepare it and you're gonna to wanna to be right here while we're doing it. So stay tuned. While we're cutting up the vegetables, let's chat a bit. I am so glad that you are here in the kitchen with me. You know, 
Here in the kitchen, we are always doing things that are family oriented. We're getting things ready and we're building our strong family. You know, I can't wait until Thanksgiving comes and Christmas comes when all of the family is able to come together and gather around that table. You know, there's nothing better than that. And you know, when we are together here, in the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time, we have an opportunity to gather together as well. And so I hope that you'll take a moment, and if you're not a member of our family, that you will subscribe. And certainly, please take the time to leave a comment and let me hear from you and know what it is that you're doing in your kitchen. And whether you're prepping for your midweek dinner or whether you're prepping for the holiday, let's chat and let's talk. We want it to I'm gonna cut it into fourths and I think I'm going to leave the outer portion on because I think it's just going to be prettier. Cutting about that half inch that we were talking about earlier. Now look at how pretty that's going to be and how colorful that's going to be. Those are going to be so nice. So when we get these nice and seasoned up, mm, mm, mm. I think I'll take the other one, go ahead and do it as well. Okay. I'm gonna stuff my acorn squash with some dressing and I'll have that one night for dinner. So here we go. We've got every, everybody's in the pool. So let's give it a good shape. So the onions are all in there. Now, the only thing we haven't put in is our garlic. And we're going to add in about a teaspoon of garlic. Okay, garlic done. Let's give it another toss. Whoever jumps out has to go back in. Okay, now we need our seasonings. Okay, we're going to start out with the basics. I'm going to put in about a half teaspoon of salt. And about a half teaspoon of pepper. Now you know I'll give everything a shake before we stop. I'm going to put in a quarter of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Remember, it's all about this, the flavor. And I have lots of time. Now I'm going to actually go in this. Normally, I would just let it... Um, this is thyme. About a half teaspoon. And I think I'm actually going to add just a touch of rosemary. Let's put just a little rosemary in. Maybe about a quarter teaspoon of rosemary. I'll keep all of that out because I'm going to need it. Um, I think we're good. So, we're going to give everything a little toss. And we need some olive oil. So that's going to be a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. That's all I had left in there, just enough for what we needed. So let's get everything in there. It's all seasoned. They're going to be so happy. really pretty. Okay, now 
You know, what I'm going to do with this is that I don't want to use another bag. So I'm going to stick it in with the bag with the other, veg other root vegetables. Put them all in there together. And they are going to the freezer. I'm going to wipe up this area very quickly. We're just going to get it clean and um, then we're going to put down some paper towel and that's going to be able to catch some of those juices that may be in the package. I also brought over the griddle pan, the griddle cast iron griddle pan and um, so I'm using a knife so I need to be uh, very careful and very focused because uh, if you ask my family sometimes I have issues with big knives so I'm just getting things ready. Now I'm taking a little bit of oil, just a little bit, a couple of tablespoons of EVOO, and I've spread it on the pan. I'm going to take that and uh, get uh, the meat on it so I can start to season. And we're going to season with the same seasonings that we used for the vegetables, of course. So you saw me handle the, the thyme the rosemary, you know, we're going to sprinkle a little black pepper and um, certainly a little pepperoncino. And you'll notice I'm not really measuring this part because I've got a pretty big piece. In fact, it's two pieces of meat. So I'm going to rub all of this together. I put quite a bit on there, but you notice I did not put any salt on there. And the reason for that is that when we make the gravy, we are going to use soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce, which both of which, of course, soy sauce naturally is salty, but the Worcestershire sauce is going to be the part that's going to add even more flavor. Now let me go wash my hands. Now I'm bringing you here before I have to turn on the fan because once the gas stove and the oven gets hot, we're going to need that fan on. So, as you can see, the skillet is ready to go in. We're going to place it in. It's on 400. We're going to place it into the oven and give it anywhere from 40 to 40. Now we're going to put together the sauce. I'm going to start with some soy, with some uh, Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. And need something just a little smaller. I'm going to add in, I'm not sure how much I have in this bottle. Huh, barely a tablespoon. I might have to go and see if I have some in my, on my shelf. I may. So, we have soy sauce. And you know, soy sauce is going to add that salty part that we needed. So I'm putting in a tablespoon of soy, maybe two since I don't have the Worcestershire. I'm going to add in a touch of vegetable bouillon. It's going to really kick up the flavor. As luck would have it, I had a new bottle. So let's put another tablespoon in. Okay. Now we've got two tablespoons of Lee and Perrin, two tablespoons of Kinkleman soy, and we're going to add in a little cornstarch and just a little dab of either water or wine. And some cornstarch, if they will let me in. Oh, need a smaller one. Well, got to go to another spoon, guys. Okay. That's a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon. I'm going to stir that all up. Let me see if I have some wine. I'm going to add in at least a cup of wine. This is a half cup measure. That's one. And that's two. I love this wine. You know, in my house, I'm Mimi. I'm the Mimi. 
And so my daughter found me the Chateau St. Michel that the name of it is Mimi. Ah, how about that? I'm looking at this and I know it's going to thicken up some, but I'm thinking I may need one more little scoop. So let's add one more. Even if I have to add more liquid, I'm okay with that. This has been a very busy day. I went up in the attic, and you can tell if you look down the front of me, I am full of Christmas glitter and stuff. And you know what? It was so much fun getting in the midst of all the ornaments and all the fun things. So I'm just in the process of trying to decide exactly what we're going to do in the kitchen, for the kitchen, for the Christmas holidays. We are just in time to give that meat a flip and then we're going to be ready to add Very some vegetables. Nice. Lots of juices. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put in, I took the rest of the sauce and I put it over our over our vegetables and I'm going to add those in. All the onions, all the goodies, everybody's going into the pool because all of this is going to shrink. Woo. All that juice. Now I'm going to play around with it just a little bit. Get things where I want them. And at this point, I'm going to cover it with foil. So let's get our foil. I apologize for the fact that I have to have a fan on, but I did. Okay. Close it up. Let everybody cook. Put it on for about another uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, now this baby's going back in the oven. see if our vegetables are tender. Get my fork. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody's ready. I could probably give them maybe, especially those on top. Now these are pretty good. Some of these I think need just a few more minutes. So I'm going to move things around. I'm going to cover this up. And I'm going to see if they'll steam. They may steam and finish up. As you know, those thicker acorn squash and the, and the butternut squash may need just a little bit more time. Because this one's, that one's still pretty... Pretty fresh. Okay, let's give it just a little more time. And I'm gonna see if I can get it back in that oven. And you know what I think I'm gonna actually do? I'm gonna sit it here and just put the stove top on low so I can cut the oven off. That way I can turn the fan off and we can hear. I can talk. Okay, we'll give it just a few minutes. I'm going to put our stove down on low. Let it bubble just a little bit. And let it finish up. There we go. I'm going to let that finish. I'm going to give it about five or ten minutes to sit here. 
it's time to serve it up. We got everything under here is bubbling away. I know that it's going to be delicious. So I'm going to get a knife so I can start slicing and we'll get everything into the bowls. I am so glad that you spent time in the kitchen with me here at Ebony Ivy and Time. Because you know our family loves to cook and to decorate and to chat right here in the kitchen. Now you know at Ebony Ivy and Time that we do things in the kitchen for the kitchen. And you know it takes all of those things to make a home a warm and happy place because our kitchen is the hub, the heart of the home. Now the time that we spend in the kitchen should be loving, nurturing, encouraging, and guiding each other, our families, and our friends over delicious meals are just across the counter. Your kitchen should be the place where everyone wants to come, have a seat, and get a hug. You are invited always to join our family. And if you are new to this channel, then I hope you will subscribe before you leave. And I say thank you to my new subscribers, as well as thank you to those of you who have been on this journey for some time. Because together, we are building strong families, one meal at a time. Have a blessed and wonderful day.